we haven't seen fires like this ever, not in my time certainly, and not for a long time. Typically, this type of forest that we have on the west side of the Cascades doesn't burn like this, but perfect conditions with the wind, the dry foliage, the undergrowth has created this uh, perfect fuel. When the fire started, it spread rapidly and pushed into the borders of some of our municipalities uh, rather quickly. The rate at which it spread really pushed our resources into high gear. We went from knowing there was a fire to almost instant life safety measures, which displaced a lot of our citizens. You guys doing good? You guys getting ready to leave? The impact was tremendous to know that you've had to evacuate your home, not knowing what's going to happen with it, not knowing what's going on with the fire. What do you grab? Where do you go? What do you do with your animals? Good afternoon. I'm Alan Sinclair, Incident Commander for Southwest Area Team Number One. What our team's doing now is working with the plan that was set in place by the initial attack resources and working with all the cooperators um, here locally that have input into the way we'll be moving forward. When we got the call, this was the number one priority nationally for a type one team to come to. Our team comes in and provides resources from around the country to start having the numbers of personnel we need to go out there and do the work we need to do to contain the fire. Clackamas County Sheriff's Department had Deputy Klepper assigned to work directly with me. It's a direct line of contact to meet any law enforcement needs that we may have. And so what that's done is really shorten the gap in response time in terms of evacuation, life safety measures. I believe that instant connection and that instant relay of communication save lives and is imperative to our role as the Sheriff's Office. Watching these type one teams, it's truly inspiring to see people from other communities, other states, uh, come in here and give of their time for our citizens. When communities are in need and they need that type one team, it's a big deal. Our number one priority everywhere we go in the country is firefighter, responder, and public safety. We love the work that we do. We love the relationships that we make in the communities that we serve. Hi guys. Uh, yeah, the mayor said you guys were set up. Yeah, so we got two bathrooms here. Uh, we got coffee for you guys anytime. Just come on in, fill up. Uh, yeah, so you guys all good? Yeah. My, my concerns. Um, are, are lessened, but they remain the same. Right. right. It's just firefighter safety. Yep. Making sure people are on the same page. Absolutely. We got some folks taking uh, independent action on fire. Mm -hmm. um, they need to be coordinating with our folks. Mm -hmm. you know, we're not going to bring them into our organization, but we're going to. There gonna, needs to be communication. But there needs to be communication. Right? Yeah, you, you've definitely made a huge, huge difference here. Perfect. It's, it's been awesome. Oh. We will meet with mayors and local leaders and some of the local community groups, let them know what kind of decisions are being made in terms of fire resource management. We're also trying to really reiterate the need for uh, a sense of security to know that there are measures being taken in terms of extra patrol shift deputies that are in the area, road closures that are in effect to keep people out of areas that they shouldn't be in. And I think putting the word to the community is actually making a difference uh, in the efforts up there. It gives them a sense of understanding, a sense of reassurance that uh, the right steps are being taken, both from the fire side of this and from the sheriff's office. Said, we're all talking, we're sharing what our needs are. Effective incident management requires communication between a lot of players. The fact that the sheriff's office offered up Deputy Klepper's time to assist us is significant having somebody with his knowledge and expertise in the area able to come in and become part of our team. He's a great guy. He was really easy to build a quick friendship with. We're going and meeting people and, and doing you know, some tough work together to maintain 
firefighter, responder, and public safety. It's all said and done. I can't wait to get up here and see these areas, places that I've been hanging out since I was a kid, yeah. fishing and, and looking on the map and going, man, that's gone. And you're taking me fishing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you stick around, we'll go fishing. I get a day off eventually. Cool. Yeah. We got the boat all set, ready to go.